I don't know if he's doing it like that, like, hi, my name is Lilo, and the reason I love ITT Tech is because I love everything about ITT. Do you remember that commercial? Copy. All right, so I go by the name Lilo. Um, it's a family name that was given to me when I was a kid. Uh, and I'm from Washington Heights, New York, which is uptown Manhattan. While the Dominicanos from, you already know. G call me Dykeman, even though I'm not from Dykeman. <laughs> important because you got to remember like Nico is is uh, is he's raw you know what I'm saying he's raw with his music he he pours his emotions his music is, is personal so you know him trusting me and Fleece with the Sonics is 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 a very important thing because we we have to bring out that emotion in every song you know what I'm saying so it's 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 the connection is super important. You need to have the chemistry. You need to, you need to sit down and actually build together as people to, to really, you know, make the emotion translate out of the music. So it's like, it's it's hands down one of the most important relationships that an artist can have is, you know, their their relationship with their engineer and producer. Man, a Nico session is, it's like. It's like we're constantly brainstorming. We're always constantly like coming up with new ideas on the fly. Um, you know, we do certain things spontaneous. We, we experiment with certain things. Um, so there's, the cool thing about that is that there's always growth in every session. Like whether it's, you know, growth within the engineer or the artist or the producer, there's always we're always doing something that is like, oh, I, I never thought of that. You know what I'm saying? Like we're always like kind of just pushing the, pushing the boundaries. Uh, Hughes definitely went through changes that I didn't expect it to go through. Like we added certain skits and certain elements to it that I'm like, yo, this is, this is now cinematic. Like it's not just like, it doesn't feel like just a sequence of songs. Now it just feels like a, like a story, like a movie almost. So. Yeah, we've been cooking up, man. These, these sessions have been great. These sessions have been amazing. Um, I see I see the idea that you're going for, though. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was just like real, it was just like real crispy for some reason. Try to slow it down. Hmm. Yo, I could do I feel like logic. The, swing logic the, the polyphonic shit on Logic is fire. Niggas is just making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> What makes this project special to me is this feels like the most important thing I worked on besides my own music. So um, yeah, just everyone involved, the fact that we're all putting hours in, more hours than we've ever put in. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just a feeling more than anything. When it's clean, it's, there's no static. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Like here versus yeah. <laughs> All right, so these, these, these are the records that, that we're looking to choose from uh, Lilo and Sleeves. Yes. Make sure we just give the speakers a second. Yeah. I'm in Vegas, feeling lucky up a couple G's. Go this on the ground like I'm a vegan. Niggas hitting for no reason. Shit assigned to TDE. Shit like Ed and an Eddie. Niggas rich off EDD. And I didn't get this far, just believing what I see. I'm so up to par like Tiger had a whole three on me. My name is Fleece. I'm an audio engineer, producer, musician. I'm from the Bronx, New York. And I got into engineering. Shit, how did I get into engineering? Um, I don't know, I, I, I've always been a music head since I was a kid. I wanna say like middle school, I really started getting into music heavy. Uh, you know, like, I feel like that's when I started listening to my own music rather than just what everyone else in my family or friends were listening to. And that was still when CDs were out, because I'm fucking old. And you know, on the back of the CD, it'd be like, oh, produced by this person or engineered by this person. And I would, all my favorite records would have the same names. So I would associate a good sounding record with that name. And then uh, by high school, I started recording a little bit. So I guess that, that was my start in engineering, you know? What's unique about Nico and I is, I don't know, I feel like we're really intuitive. There's certain times where like, uh, he might, I might, like, let's say we're tracking or recording, 
and he might say a line a certain way, and I, in my head I'm like, oh, maybe he should say it this way, but I haven't said that yet out loud. And we go again, he'll, he'll do it, even though I was thinking about it. Or vice versa, he might ask me to do an edit, but I already did the edit before he could even get the words out of his mouth. So there's just like an, an, innate, an, an innate thing going on between us, it's cool. Let us know, fam. Shit is not it, bro. Shit is not it. It's always that one nigga repeat everything. Shit is not it, bro. Yo, yo, get your vibe yo, yo, right, yo, bro. Yo, 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 one mic, one mic, one mic. It's not it. It's not, not it. it. Yo, 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 get the fuck out the room, bro. Yo, a Nico session is just jokes and having fun and clownery. It's basically clown college. It's high school. But we still get a lot of work done, you know? That, that's the best part about it. Um, it doesn't feel like work most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes it does, but when you really try to get something dialed in, it, it's a, it takes a little bit of work, you know? But it's always a great time. And it's great music and great vibes.